Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we are in the first, well, I guess we're partway through the first day of summer. And look at this, everybody's hard at work harvesting and uh, doing all kinds of things. It looks like, wow, they've already replanted the summer cabbage. So this is, this is part of the kind of the, well, it's kind of an interesting aspect of this. The, um, you can't really control what they're going to do. <laughs> so, you know, really, you would think by default if it was, if, okay, if it was me, I would harvest everything, right? So flax and the cabbage and everything. And then after that, I would start working on the fields. But they seem to be doing things in the, you know, they harvest and then they replant and I'm going to leave them to their own devices. And then what I'll do is I'll come back in like maybe the third day of summer uh, at the last day of summer and then just make sure that they're they're doing okay. The only thing I think I will do though Oh, <laughs> the water dude is doing his water thing. Oh, there is. Okay, there's a few things. Hang on. First of all, let's do a little status check on how the village is doing. Um, most importantly, how is the firewood situation? It's 167, which is not great, but it is okay. Um, we have plenty of logs. Uh, we've got oat grain. We've got rye coming in. So that's really nice. Oh man, we don't really have enough oat grain, do we? But look, at that, look at how much manure we have. Um, so they could turn that into fertilizer. There's, we're doing really well on a lot of stuff. Now, how's the flax situation? So currently we're at 492 flax and they haven't even harvested all of it. So this is really promising. Uh, yeah, all right. And then the food situation. If we check on, oh, oh, there's a bunch of rot in here. That's right. I let, uh, Okay, let's grab you, and nope, let's grab you. And I am now carrying too much. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I'm thirsty. Can you <laughs> look at that? I just realized I'm thirsty, and I'm carrying a whole bunch of rotten stuff, and the sound of the, the well is driving me slowly insane. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's clean up a few things. Logs. Oh, of course. Sticks. Right. Stones. Straw. And... Right, I didn't really check on a bunch of stuff before I started. Uh, well, now let's not worry about it. Uh, we're down to 24, which is uh, it's okay, I think, for the amount of, for our weight. I think I'm good. Stone arrows, we have a few. Copper arrows, we have a few. Uh, we've got a wooden crossbow. I think we're in reasonable condition here, so I think we're, I'm just going to let it slide as far as what I have on me. The only thing I could do is maybe grab some eaten food, eaten cabbages or something like that. Some some ca road cabbages, because uh, I do have a plan for today and I'm just I'm trying to get there. But I just want to make sure that the village is doing well until then. Oh, my goodness. And we've got a rabbit and I need to. Oh, for <laughs> all right. Sticks, where are you? Work is never done in the village. Work is never done in the village. That's OK, though. Because I quite like my village and the people that are in it. Because they're all awesome. You guys are, you guys rock. Okay, let's grab all this. And maybe there's some more sticks over here. And I should be able to in, uh, make a uh, another rabbit trap. <laughs> De La Bora. She's, uh, <laughs> she's my excavator right now. And she's all over. <laughs> she's doing all kinds of excavatory things. Now, let's see. Uh, we want to do decorative. Right, right, right. Ornamental uh, rabbit houses that trap them and force them to... Well, the, allow me to base... Well, we're not going to get into it. It's kind of grim, actually. Uh, fur and sticks. All right, let's go check out the food situation. Do, 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 do. We do have a full-time cook, so the food should not be going down that quickly. Look at how many cabbages we have. All right, first of all, I'm going to grab some eating cabbages. I'll grab like 25 just, just to have on me so that I have a snack. Uh, we've got tons of water. So the water dude is doing his water job, which is great. Look at all that meat that we have. Holy moly. But mostly what I'm interested in is potage. Ooh. Oh. We're down to the last of the, oh my goodness, last of the good stuff. I think I need to make some, how many onions do we have? All right, let's grab a bunch of onions. Let's grab like 60-ish. Uh, Six, there we go, 61. Uh, let's grab, how much roast meat do we have? 
We've got a whole bunch of it. Let's grab all the roast meat. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Let's grab all of the roast meat. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make the stewy type stuff. Okay. And the other thing is, oh, now that, oh, oh, I just realized maybe he's run out of bowls and stuff. I've got a whole bunch of bowls because I used to do all the cooking and maybe I've got a bunch of things in here. Yes, I do. Okay, well, he ne he needs for that stuff to be in his, uh, in his storage, so. Did I just dump something? No, I didn't. Okay. He's, <laughs> my dude's exhausted. Yes, well, it's, it's running a, a, a town is a very uh, busy thing. All right, let's grab all the plates that we can. So now he, sh the, my, my uh, cooking dude should have access. You know what? We'll grab the 90% ones. <laughs> My cooking dude should have access to all the bowls now for potage. I think that's what I've got him doing full time. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, is it the end of the day? Oh, I guess it's the end of the day. <laughs> well, it's my turn then. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do soups. And what I'd like to do is... Wait a minute. What do I not have enough for? Stew. Wait a minute. Back. Oh, it's other. It's other. Meat with gravy. So we can make 20 meat with gravy, and I think this will be, uh, this will make them happy. Now, uh, they'll eat the roast meat and stuff like that, but, um, I think they, they prefer meat with gravy. Uh, now, someone, uh, basically, you know, there was that list I was showing about all the different foods and all of the, yeah, the priority is, doesn't appear to be the order in which it's shown on the page. It, uh, it's probably, you know, one suggestion or one, one, some, one person said it was, uh, the, the, how much food it provides. Which, yeah, it makes sense. Um, it's hard to say. But uh, I I'm really not too worried about it. My, my thing is I'll just give them a nice choice of different types of food, like potage, meat with gravy. Whichever they eat first, I really, I mean, that's up to them. <laughs> whatever they, whatever they want to eat. Uh, as long as there's food and they're happy, I really, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so what was the plan for today? The plan for today was... Um, well, I wanted to check up on the village to make sure everybody was fine. Um, we want a basically overarching plan for the whole summer is to make sure that the harvest is fe finished and that we plant for the next season. Uh, the really, the only thing we want to plant in summer is cabbage. And I'm not going to bring up the chart because that's literally what it says is cabbage. <laughs> Just cabbage. And so, and it looks like they'd already planted at least some of the cabbage. Uh, so, you know, that's fine. Um... Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, we'll have to f revisit that in a second uh, after this meat with gravy thing. Um, I I've been told, uh, I have been informed that apparently, apparently, I need to have beets. Now, <laughs> I find that funny. It's just hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will, I will endeavor to find some beet seeds <laughs> because apparently, I I've been. I need to make, I need to grow beets. <laughs> not, oh, hang on, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's put the meat in there. Let's put the meat with gravy in there. Did we use, oh, it was all the onions we used. Oh, okay. There we go. I think we're in reasonable condition now. All right. And actually, I need to eat, so why don't we do that? Oh, yeah. What did I almost forget? Well, I didn't almost forget. I, I yeah, a, b a bunch of people pointed something out that was absolutely amazing and, and great. Um, if we take a look at the at my peoples, we will see that we also have not just Balduina is, is expecting, but so is Rudolfina. So that is so cool. Um, I, congratulations, Rudolfina. Now, she currently is living with Radost. So Rudolfina and Radost are, are happy to be parents. So, status pregnant, very cool. <laughs> oh, that's just awesome. I mean, it, it provides challenges because we're going to lose Rudolfina for a little while when she, uh, on mat leave. But that's just life in the village and we'll just have to deal with it. That's, that's, you know, it's expected, right? That is the way it is. All right, now, if we take a look at uh, one other thing, let's see. Animal husbandry, the goose house needs people. Uh, production, the sewing hut needs somebody, the workshop needs somebody. We're, we all, this is all stuff we know. Extraction, the well needs probably buckets. I bet you he's out of buckets. He's out of buckets. 
Now, you know what? Is there something I could put you better to, to better use at? Is that the well is currently being um, operated by Otmar. And if we take a look at Otmar, we can see that he is... I mean, we've he's being wasted in that role, but it, it's not a difficult role. But uh, hunter-gatherer, uh, diplomat, and crafter. And so problem is we're, we're not really... I'm going to need crafters more in the future than right now. Um, but if we take a look at production, I mean, there's the kitchen, the sewing hut. I'm trying to keep somebody out of the people out of the sewing hut right now until we get more flax. The smithy only takes one and the workshop, which is basically bowls and, and plates. And we're pretty good with that. So I'm good with him being where he is right now. If what if, he also is, uh, hunting gathering. I mean, there is the hunting lodge can take two. We could maybe put him in as a hunter and increase, that'll increase my in, input of leather and because that's something that we really need. That <laughs> 27 per day. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is the leather situation? Let's find out. Uh, 16. So we're still low on leather. Oh, what about bags? How are we doing for bags? Wait a minute. Are bags in this section or are they? Uh oh. Seriously? They're used, they've used up all. Wow. Okay. So that basically that means that I need to make bags. Uh, we have flax. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hundred of it or 102 because that's what I can basically carry. Uh, I'm going to grab some, all the leather and I'm going to grab, that's what I'll grab for now. That's what I'll grab for now. So what is the plan? The plan is we're going to make more bags, the real bags, the good ones. Um, while, you know, it, <laughs> I need my, my farm team to be able to farm team. It sounds like something else. My farming team, <laughs> I guess you could say, I need them to be uh, completely and, and fully like on point, nothing delaying them. Uh, it's go time right now as far as harvesting and all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I need them to be focused on that, and I need them to have all the equipment that they need in order to make that happen. So, we need to, we're going to do thresh the flax. We're going to spin flax into linen thread, which I believe, or... Uh, or then we're going to take that linen thread, we're going to turn it into cloth, then combine that with the leather that we have, and we're going to convert that leather into uh, bags. That's, I think, what we need to do. I'm going to double-check the formula for, for the bags, by the way, and make sure that I'm doing this right. But I do know that I definitely need flaxseed. Or not flaxseed, but I need flax, the stalks. So, yeah. <laughs> now, technically, we could put Otmar in the sewing huts and just put them on spinning leather thread 100% of the time. But honestly, I need the leather. I need a lot of leather. And so I think he's better off where he is. I think that makes sense. You can hear the pigs in the background. <laughs> I love those guys. <laughs> oh, um, so a number of times since the since I first went back to Medieval Dynasty for the season, uh, people have, you know, they've said there's a really cool new feature where you can upgrade buildings in place, right? If you want to go from Tier 1 to Tier 2 of a building, you can just overlay it, like, and, and upgrade an existing building, which is very cool, by the way. And uh, that, but I had a thought. Would it be possible for me to, to upgrade... Uh, basically use that mechanic to rebuild this level one or tier one pigsty, but have it facing in this direction. And I do want to try that out at some point. And so, yeah, that's that's also something that I wouldn't mind doing. Okay, let's go check the... Um, let's go check the uh, formula, the uh, ingredients for making a bag down here in miscellaneous. And not simple bag. We want to make a bag bag. So it's leather... F See, if, if I... Let me show you. If I make them out of leather, pure leather, I can get five bags out of it. And these bags are 30 durability, okay? Right? So they're lower tier. Okay, so I can get five 
lower durability bags. Or if I were to turn this linen into fabric, uh, this flax into fabric, I could get, uh, by the looks of it, uh, eight bags that each have a hundred, like double the durability. And that's kind of why I wanted to do it this way, as opposed to make them just the standard leather bags. Okay, let's do, well, let's start from the back. We need to make, in order to make the cloth, the linen fabric, we need linen thread. So we need to make this all into linen thread. So let's make 10 linen thread. That's going to allow us to make uh, 10 linen cloth, right? And uh, which is more than we need for the eight bags. I think it's one, is it one, one linen cloth per bag? If it is, we need to do more linen because I want to make a bunch of bags. I don't want this to be a problem for a while. Well, that's the hope. That's the plan. <laughs> Uh, right, so, let's see. Recruit, we need to recruit people. Uh, we need to finish the harvest. I wanted to uh, celebrate Ru Rudolfina's uh, uh, expectancy. Which, congratulations, Rudolfina, once again. I need to, uh, in the long run, I'd like to get some li lighting done. Um, I have apparently been commanded that I need beets. <laughs> I, I, I'm joking. I, I, don't, I don't mind having beets. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and eventually, I need to uh, I need to procure some geese. Uh, of course, right now I don't have anybody to man the geese, uh, the goose house, but that's kind of a different issue, isn't it? Um, ten linen fabric. We're uh, <laughs> we're we're weaving in the dark. Dun, 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 dun. Weaving in the dark. Dun, 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 dun. Look at my hand. No, I can't. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to try to go any further than that. I think you. I think I've now successfully put the doors into your into your head. And I, now I'll just let it re replay over and over again. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> uh, right. So I think. But I think the important thing to do is tomorrow we need to go get recruits. Uh, and that's the plan. I didn't want to go today because it was kind of like midway through the day and I'd rather, you know, just make it an activity for, for like, go out in the morning and uh, and and see what we can find, right? I, I think that just makes sense. Oh, there we go. Oh, new level in crafting. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, actually, you know what? What does that give me? Skills? Crafting? Now, I can't do Builder Trance because it's a uh, Tier 4, and I need to have a Tier 3 thing in order for that. So we have Sewing Expert. So we could do 10% faster crafting in the Sewing Hut. But let's start at the bottom. So Sewing Knowledge. So basically, this would give me 5% more experience gained from using the Sewing Hut. You know what? I think that's a... Considering how much I'm doing stuff in, in the Sewing Hut, I think that makes sense. Uh, cooking Knowledge. Ooh. More experience. Yeah, I do that too. But I think a little bit into sewing would be good too. Uh, builder. Durability of hammers. Eh, craft. I mean, I'm okay with that, but hammers, wood hammers are cheap. Uh, faster in the workshop with the, or the smithy. Um, faster crafting in the sewing hut and faster crafting in the tavern. These are all things that I want to get to eventually, but I think adding the a little bit of... Um, Sewing knowledge. And then maybe we could finish off the cooking knowledge just for good measure. There we go. All right. Now, let us make uh, the bags. We can make five. Why? Because we only have... It's... A, I, didn't, I didn't... I'm not looking at it, but it looks like... Hang on. It, we should have two linen disappear in a second. It's because we need more linen. Two linen fabric. So that's why. Okay. But the point is, though, we're going to have five bags of these 100 durability bags. That's 500 durability. If we were to make five regular leather bags, right, you know, that's what, 250? That's half the durability. And so, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> we'll just go with this. Five bags is going to cover us for now. Uh, it's going to be good enough. Are you done, Net? Almost. And there we go. Okay. Perfect. Let's go put those in the uh, resource station, resource uh, storage, so that we can get that ready for an available for everybody. Go and oh, flax seed too. <gasps> um, we could sell that. 
In fact, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to keep it on me and we're going to sell it um, because I need the cash. And we've got tons of flax coming in. Um, there's 527 right there. So a uh, little the flax stock, the leather, the sticks, and I'm going to put the plates away too. I'm going to keep the flax seed. And then we've got the bags that we need to put in there to make available to the people. And I think we're good. I think we're good. I got some food, got some water. We're ready. To, I think we're ready to take off. I think we've basically checked out and made, made sure that the village was operating fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash up before going to bed because, uh, well, Baldwina doesn't appreciate it when I come to bed stinky. So <laughs> we're, we're just, we're thinking of both. Hey, honey, scooch over. There we go. Morning time. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I think everybody's uh, everybody's getting up. We're, they're going to do another day of work. I'm going to leave them to their business and let them do all of that work. I think it, they'll be able to get it done before the end of summer. Uh, but in the meantime, we need to go and find some nice new folks. So <clears throat> we have not yet been out to Hornica. I don't know if we've been to Jezerica. I can't remember. So what I think I'm going to do uh, is I think we're going to go to Denica and then we're going to flip up to Jezerica and I think we're just going to go to Hornica and just to mix things up a little bit and go from there. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So let's go to Denica first. We, we, I could go to Leshnica as well. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Rudolfina! Congratulations, Rudolfina. I hear that, um, that they're... Oh, okay, fine. One, okay. New level in hunting! <gasps> oh, does that mean I can finally do tracker? Track animals in inspector mode. Yes! That is awesome. Uh, now, I should have done steady hand, but really, I want that. I want the tracking. Oh, man, I should have done steady hand. Okay, never mind. I, I, I leapt at that a little too quickly, I think, but we're not going to worry about it. Oh, no, I don't want to put that in. Actually, yeah, we want to put the fur in. Feathers, I mean. Here, sticks. And we need to put the meat away. And then we can head out. Um, yeah, I haven't decided. Maybe we'll go to... By the way, I do recognize that I'm pro I, I, I mispronounce the, some of the names and stuff. Um, this game is is uh, very heavily influenced by uh, Polish culture, and my understanding is that if we take a look, like uh, Rolnica, Leśnica, Denica, these are all um, the the ICA is actually supposed. I think it's apparently supposed to be pronounced Itza. So Leśnica. Rolnica, Denitsa. The problem is that I'm an English speaker and oh, I can't, it, I have trouble getting my head around that. <laughs> um, it's, it's not, I'm not blaming any, just saying that's just me. That's a fault in my own. I see the word and I, I can't, I have, I, I, when I speak quickly or, you know, I don't think about it. I, I don't really speak probably pronounce it correctly. So for those of you of Polish heritage and who do understand the Polish language, I apologize. I do. I do. I don't mean to butcher things. Um, but, you know, I don't have the... <laughs> that is my... Yeah, I don't have the history and the understanding of the language, so... Oh, barrels. What have we got? Flour? Okay. Is this going to be more flour? No, flaxseed! Yes. Oh, you know, I just realized we need to be, uh, well, here, uh, let's get the bow out and make sure that we have the correct, uh, let's see, copper arrows. We're going to undo that and then redo that. So we have 21 copper arrows that we have uh, at our disposal and right now. And unfortunately, oh, man, I really do wish that... Um, 
I do wish that we could have both the crossbow and the longbow uh, essentially equipped, ready to go at the same time. But the, whatchamacallit, the um, quiver, I guess you would call it a quiver, right? The quiver can only, our quiver, which is where, uh, you know, projectile uh, ammunition is stored, can only have either bolts or arrows in it. So it's, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But we'll just go with the flow and keep our eyes out, of course. Make sure that nobody uh, jumps out at us and does bad things. Do, 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 do. Keep, and also keep an eye out for uh, loots and stuff like that. See, I think that this little area right through here at the bottom of this waterfall would be an ideal location for a regular loot spawn. And uh, there's nothing here right now, of course, but... Yeah, thought I heard something. But that's just me being uh, paranoid, I guess. Okay, let's head on out. Now, we are going through uh, boar territory, if I remember correctly. Um... So we'll have to, we'll just have to keep an eye out for boars and all of that stuff. I think there used to be wolves, but I don't know. Maybe, is it just me or do, is there no wolves over here anymore? Oh, there's a lynx. I think there's a boar off in the distance right behind the cursor there. But yeah, let's just keep bugging. Uh, sorry. I, I'm also on the eye for, I'm keeping an eye out for, uh, you know, like things left uh you know in on the side of the road and stuff like that yeah sometimes i think i see things but i don't all right now why are we here for two reasons the first is we need to see if there's anybody here to recruit and the second is who do we have here <gasps> eric let's let's see about you you are well, you three in the the art of here. Let's take a look. Essentially, this is survival, and what is it that? I mean, obviously, fishing is one of them. Hunting, I guess. No, that's this one here. So he would be a gatherer, right? He would be able to gather things. Um, what 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 jobs really? Uh, don't really have anybody doing survival right now. Yeah. I mean, you're you're kind of you seem like a nice fellow, but I don't know if I have um a good purpose for you, my friend. I I do apologize. Here. Can I light your fire for? No, I can't. I'm I'm sorry. All right, but in the meantime, uh we have here Dagobear. Hello, Traveler. Hello Dagobear. Can you show me your wares? Whatever you need, I've got it. Well, actually, I have flax seed for you. That gives me 774 coin, and we can now buy... I'm going to just buy enough for one field. I'm going to get 15 beetroot. There we go. And so now I'm down to 706. Beetroot seed is cheap. Um, yeah, that's okay. Is there anything else you have that's useful? We can get some seedlings, but I'm not really there yet. We can get some oats. I'm going to need oats. Yeah, I might just have to. How much is the uh, 400, huh? How about if we just get 30? It's 225 coins. That still leaves me with almost 500 coins. I think that's good. I need the oats because uh, I'm, I need to make more animal food. And uh, yeah, I've got... Wait a minute. Is it rye that's coming in? Here, I'll tell you what. Fair... Oh my... Good day. You're a close talker, aren't you there, buddy? Uh, what is it that I have in the field right now? I have, uh, oh, is it oats? Or I'm planting oats. Uh, oats are planted in the spring and harvested in the fall. So currently we have oats coming in and I need probably rye, but yeah, I do need, I think I've got rye right now. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Shall we go to Leshnika? Why don't we go to Leshnika? Yeah, let's do it. I wasn't I was I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but I think we'll go to Leshnika. Let's boom. We're just going on a little bit of a tour, uh, checking out all the different places. 
Uh, it's been a while since I've... Oh, hey. Hey, bud. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out and about like this, and I thought maybe it would be a good idea to get out of the village and, and uh, go around and speak to the peoples and see if we can find some new folks. Okay. What I should do, and I'll have to remember if I get into any trouble, is I should quick save at some point. You know what? Yeah, I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> uh, that is a wolf right there. Oh, food storage. Unlock. Oh, there's a wolf. Got my... <laughs> is he following me? Oh, that worked. I've never used that as a tactic before, but apparently it works. Oh, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Here, let's have a drink of water. I'm certain he's not following me, right? <laughs> Good. That is so cool. I've been told that so many times. I've been told that, uh, you know, I should... I should just, you know, if you use your torch, if you, it'll, uh, you know, it'll scare the wolves off. And I've, I don't know, for some reason, I never think of it. And I always end up fighting the wolves or running from them or whatever. This is the first time I've actually thought of, of doing that, of actually um, using that against them. Oh, hey, we've got some potentials here. Now, just as a reminder. Um, oh, technology, of course. Uh, excavation shed. Hunting lodge to... We can do the food storage, too. That was what it was, actually. And we can still do workshop, too. Okay. Uh, just as a reminder, the as far as uh, the housing is concerned, uh, we have currently... Let's just clear this up a little bit. We have no empty houses, but we do have one house that has a dude in it, and that's Otmar. And Otmar is uh, 23. So he's a nice middle age. He could probably go with just about anybody. Um, he's pretty flexible. I had a chat with him. He's like, yeah, man, I just want to be happy. I hear, I hear you, man. I really do. Um, we also have, uh, Nawoya, who is, uh, potential, and De La Bora. And so, yeah, let's see what we've got here. Um, we've got, well, first of all, we got Griselda, we've got Dater, and we've got Kashmira. Okay, let's see what, we, what we're dealing with with Gris Griselda. All ones and twos. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Dater, who is all ones and twos. And we've got Kashmira, who's all ones and twos. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is not a good scene right here. I don't think I'm... Yeah. I think we're just going to leave them to their own devices, and I think I just need to go out to... Well, let's go to Jezerica, which is that way. Now, there's... Um, we could go out... Actually, you know what? Let's talk to the hunter. Hey, Gisela. Hello. Hi. Can you show me your wares? Whatever you need, I've got it. So she has recurve bow. It's 480. I could buy it right now. I could sell my longbow and buy a recurve bow. How much would she buy my longbow for? It's at 20% health, 32. Is there anything else I could sell her? You know what? I do have... Uh, well, one of these was a gift and the other one, oh, I don't remember which. Oh, I'm just going to have to keep them and just use them on, for, on my own. Um, flour and oats, no. Clay cup, oh, I can sell the clay cup. Apparently, it's you can't give it as a gift or anything. I'm gonna sell the clay cup. Man, I've been carrying that around forever. Uh, let's see. Uh, an iron shovel, which I don't really want to give up. A bronze axe, these are all things I don't really want to give up. The uh, copper knives. Oh. I mean, we could sell stone arrows because I have copper arrows. Uh, uh. Oh, I've got a bunch of sickles. <gasps> I didn't give them to my people for their work. Oh, no. 
Okay, well, we have to definitely be back in town. Here, how about we sell all these sickles? That'll give us a bit more money. And I'll make some new ones. That's not a problem. Uh, I'm going to sell the longbow, even though it's in, in a bit of... Uh, a little worse for wear. That's okay. Um, we're going to keep the arrows. Uh, what else are we going to do? I don't know. I think that's pretty well it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the recurve bow. I'm going to just get one. Uh, I still have 156 coin. Um, there we go. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. And now I've got a recurve bow. And I think that's probably... Uh, I'm kind of happy about that. So let's equip you in slot three. And uh, we have copper arrows. And there we go. There's our recurve bow. Yeah, that was a rhyme. Actually, you know, here, let's... Uh, Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's equip the stone arrows. Okay. And let's see. We've got, a, we've got a tree here. And how about that right there? You see that that knot right there? Okay. We can see if we can... Uh... Oh, it's so quick to draw. Look at that. Perfect. Nice. All right, I'm good with that. <laughs> I like I like the recurve bow. Oh, that's boogie. Yeah, we got to get to the... We have to get uh, over to the other town. Uh, there is a trail back here that we could take. It's probably going to lead us into trouble. Here it is. And that's okay. Um, again, quick save. There we go. Oh, and also, here. Uh, I have to have lunch. Inventory, food. Cabbages. There we go. All right, that's boogie. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, there's deers. No. We'll, we'll, oh, oh, by the way. Oh, I just realized. Um, I'm not testing anymore. Let's use the copper arrows. There we go. Look at all the deer. Wow. I can see why Gisela likes it out here. There's lots of game. And a fox. Multiple foxes. There's a fox over there. There's a fox right there. Another one over there. Holy moly. This is like fox land. Uh, watch. In the future, there's probably going to be a thing where I have to go get fox, and I'm not going to remember where this is. <laughs> oh, wolf. <laughs> I'm not brave. <laughs> no, you know what? I have other things that I need to do. And uh, I'm going to put that away. I have other things that I need to get done. And I can't. I don't want to delay. We've got... We need to find people. We need to find... Where is this? Oh, look at that. There's a... <gasps> oh! That was a pig. Oh, it's behind that bush. Is it dead? Problem with the pigs is that there's often more than one. Okay, I want my, uh, no, get the shade, fine. I want my arrow. Okay, we'll harvest you. Listen out for other pigs. Did I get uh, only one arrow? <gasps> oh, I forgot that I have my... Uh, oh, I lost an... Oh, there's the other one. Oh, that is so good. And we get my arrow back. What? The music changed. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. Okay, let's get the boar. Is this gonna? How much leather does this gonna? Is it, does this give? Um, three leather. Not bad. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's grab whatever's here. There's a stick. Oh, that's so wonderful. Uh, but that's not what it is. So we've got a. Oh, is that an iron pickaxe? <gasps> nice. Nice. An iron. Oh, come on. Fine. There's the thistle. Grab the other thistle. Is there any other goodies here? St. John's Wart. I don't see any other goodies. 
stick. Okay, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> the music is not inspiring me. Okay, I gotta go that way. Oh, another pig! <laughs> okay, let's get a little distance. And I think we've—I think the pig gave up. You know what? Uh, we we have to maintain. I said I I didn't want to stop when I was back there with the wolves, and that actually is still true. But I wanted to get that that uh, fallen. Have I ever used this route before? I wanted to get that not the fallen the um uh, the cart. I wanted to loot the cart, and the pig was between me and it, so we didn't have much choice. There's another lynx. Okay. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. Bye. 200 meters that one. All right. Cool. Oh, there it is there. That's uh Oh, I remember this town. It's got a... This town has a... Uh, it has a... Whatchamacallit? Uh, it has a tavern. And it's run by kind of awful people, from what I remember in season one. Now, it is entirely possible that they've changed that storyline and they're no longer awful people, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I suspect they're still awful. Uh, they just weren't, yeah, there was, a, I'm not going to get into details just in case, uh, we, you know, we, we bump into that storyline again and I don't want to spoil it, but they're just not good people. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, they weren't really in joke. Here, put the bowl away. There we go. All right. But well, we are here looking for recruits. Maybe they want to get out of this uh, terrible place. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got... Um, I can't... I'm sorry. I I, I don't... I apologize. Uh, nice deck. Oh, hey, we've had nice deck before. And Odalon. Okay. Uh, I can't... I think... I. You know what? I'm just going to not because it's kind of, you know... But are you... <gasps> you are a three... Level three farmer. Oh, I need you. Okay. And Odalon. You are all ones and twos, and that's you're not a recruit. And nice deck, you have a three in extraction, a three in hospitality or uh, diplomacy, and I need to get stamina back. And a three in, you know what? Uh, that extraction is is uh, really good. So, uh, hello, hi. Let's do some small talk. What is on your mind? Nature always overwhelms me. I prefer it harnessed uh, in one and in place. Square-shaped fields, straight forest edges, and reinforced cave mines make me feel safer and calmer. Okay, so she's the opposite of the type that was the, the other type that we were talking to, which is I like the nature to be unkempt, or not unkempt, but to be uh, wild and free. Uh, how is your day going? It's the halfway point of the year. Uh, think how much labor has already been done up till now. Now imagine the same amount of work is still ahead of us. Get to work. Oh, she's kind of like Baldwina. Um, <laughs> can you tell me about your skills? I uh, don't mind getting my hands dirty and back sweaty. Uh, farming is complex. So she's a farmer, which is what uh, basically her skill set said anyways. And does get anything give you a hard time? Uh, don't call me a coward. But just a single thought about being left alone in the forest or a mine makes me shiver. I don't fancy those places. You know what? That's fine. That's fair enough. And would you like to join me? Great. <laughs> All right. So we have um, a new lady, which means... Uh, oh, wait a minute. How old is she the right... <gasps> well, you know what? Otmar is... Uh, he's fine. Hang on. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, Otmar is 23 and she's 19. N you know what? Not a bad match. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, so let's put you into Otmar's house. There we go. And let's have you... Actually, what is your what are your skills again? I thought you were a good farmer. You are a good farmer. We could put you... She can replace Baldwina when she goes on mat leave. Um, but I am going to need more dudes because uh, that they need to be like... Uh, when, when the ladies go on mat leave, they need to be able to step in and, and uh, take care of a few things. But she can also... yeah. So she's a farmer. Um, right now, there isn't really an opening for, in the barn. 
But what I could do is I could put her in the goose house, but she doesn't have anything to to do there. Um, yeah, the barn already has everybody. Let me take a look at something. Let's take a look. Who's farming? Prisvit can also do do crafting, right? And so uh, we could have him start on. I mean, really, it would be good if I had another barn. Hunting. Extraction. Um, yeah, this is a tough one. I mean, we could put her in the goose house, even though she doesn't... It, you know what? Let's just put her there, and then we'll have to plan for getting... Uh, plan for getting somebody there. Okay. Animal breeder. There we go. I think that's good. And... Uh, but there is no animal there. That's fine. That's fine. We can, we'll deal with that later. And then we've got Nijdek. So let's How is life treating you? Oh, very good. Can we... Let's have a chat, my friend. Um, what's on your mind lately? I want something to... Oh, I want something to stir up our Id idyllic valley, like a rock thrown into smooth water. <laughs> There's a word for people like you, my friend. I, I used to skip stones when I was a kid. It would be nice to... Uh, feel so thrilled again if I were back and okay during the carefree times. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And summer sun is too much for me. I must be getting old whenever I uh, find some shade. I linger a bit before going back to work. All right. Cool. Um, and then could you tell me about your skills? I was always law, uh, always a law unto myself. I will cut down and dig out whatever stands in my way. Just giving, just give me the right tool. Hmm. And does anything give you our time? I'd rather walk my own path than follow animal tracks. Uh, so not hunting. All right. That's fine. Let's, See you soon. Okay. What, and what do we... Uh, he is diplomacy, survival, and extraction. I need extraction, people. Let me take a look, though. We're, we're, before we actually recruit him, where can we stick him? Um, well, first of all, uh, he is... Well, I don't know how old he is, but we'll get to that. Um, I mean, we've got we've got young ladies that uh, we go here. We've got young ladies that that um, like Nawoya, for example, and Baldwina, or and Radomira, right? Uh, Radomira is uh, a twenty-seven farmer, and I think we we can. And Nawoya is a thirty-one-year-old lumberjack. Yeah, we could find a place for him, I'm sure. Okay. Extraction. So he could be in the excavation shed as well. Um, that's that. There's no harm in that. We we need as much uh, stuff like that as we can get. And also, I could build another woodshed, and he would be uh, able to um, uh, get a bunch more wood. He could also make start making firewood and stuff like that. So he's useful. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get him. How are you? Uh, I'm creating a new settlement. Great. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Excellent. Nice deck. Awesome. Welcome to the team, my friend. Uh, now, we want to... Uh, how old is he? He's 25. So, wow. We, let's, let's figure out um, where we can put him. But first of all, we could have him work in the uh, excavation shed. Um, not the wood shed, because it only handles one person. So excavation shed uh, with De La Bora. There we go. Oh, no. Uh, as a miner. Okay, perfect. And now Nijdek is a 25-year-old. Uh, he seems like a reasonable fellow. And let's see. As I say, we have currently... Well, there's De La Bora. I could make her the... You know what? He's an extractor. He could be one half of our our new power couple, our mining power couple. Oh, De La Bora is a miner. She's an extractor. 20, 25, not too bad. That's not too, uh, not too big of a difference at all. Interesting. Okay. All right, we'll have to, De La Bora, that's, that's, we'll have to see about that. Nawoya, Nawoya. Let's see, Nawoya is 31. She's also an extractor, but uh, 
I still think I still think that she, he's a good match for De La Bora. You know what? I think we're just going to do that. I think De La Bora is going to be very happy. Um, there we go. And oh, uh, nice deck. Didn't I give him with De La Bora? There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Is that is that still the case? Did I do that right? De La Bora status. Oh, it yeah. He'll this will clean up. This is basically saying he's got no food, water, or wood. He'll he'll sort that out when he gets a little bit of time. If we give it a few seconds, um, then we go in management and yeah, it's all sorted out. So basically, they're both happy now. I, I think that I think Nystek and De La Bora will make a fantastic couple. <laughs> All right, so we have room for a couple more dudes, but we are getting a little late in the day. Let's take a look at where else we can go. We have not been, have we been? We might have been to Hornica already, but I'm going to go to Hornica because, yeah, let's go uh, that way. Yeah, I think uh, I think I, we definitely need to get to Hornica. Now I am a little thirsty. I should have gone back down to that uh, lake to get a drink. Thought I heard something. Uh, to get a little bit of a drink of water. Oh, this is bear territory. Uh, uh. Oh. I don't have enough stone. I don't have enough arrows, I think, to deal with a bear. Oh, hey. <gasps> leather! We just got one. Oh, no. We have one leather. Okay, well, that wasn't a lot of leather. Is there anything else here? I don't see anything else. <gasps> and a knife. What is a stone knife? Okay, well, I'm not really too excited about a stone knife, but I don't think I see anything else. Oh, 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 no. A water skin with water. You know, I was... <laughs> game seriously <laughs> here we'll drink out of the uh the there we go and that'll give us a bit of water <laughs> i was just saying that uh i'm a little thirsty and the game provided <laughs> before we uh proceed too much further let's save okay let's go do 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 Oh, this is a bad scene. Do we want to do this? I think I'm going to use the crossbow. No, let's try the recurve bow. Yeah, let's try the recurve bow. All right, I'm going to save. I'm probably going to die, but we're going to use uh, the height as an advantage. It's a bandit camp with a with a barricade. Come on. Oh nope. Oh ho, 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 ho. Oh he's he's unhappy. Oh oh he's down. He's down. Okay, I got the bowman, that's good. Oh! One shot to him. Oh, he's got it stuck in there. <laughs> oh, oh, I so much, I so much prefer the uh, the, the the recurve bow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what we got. We got cheese and onion. Nice, nice. Anything around you? I always I seem to think that I'm forgetting or missing something. Uh, rock. Yes, yes, there's rock there. That's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, what have you got? Uh, an apple. Five apples. Man, you guys are the worst bandits ever. I thought maybe I'd get some useful... Did, did I get my arrow back? No? Can I, can I scoot you? No, I can't scoot you over. Let's see if I can get my arrow back. I don't see it. Okay. Oh, I can get my arrow back from this guy. There we go. 
And let's see what he's got. Hey, he's the leader. Uh, some coin, a stone, uh, stone arrow, stone knife. Oh, awesome. Okay, where's your bow though? Hmm. Okay, we can get you that that. Uh, what's in here? Oh, we can get that everything. Perfect. And is there anything in there? Fur. Oh wow. <laughs> nice! Oh, and bronze arrow! <gasps> One bronze arrow. Okay, well that's not that exciting. And we've got a cook pot here. And what else do we have? Uh, broadleaf plantain? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, a coverlet? Okay, okay. Am I... Oh, and some firewood. There we go. All right, let's do a little sweep and make sure that we're not missing anything. You can take that rock. <gasps> a straw hat. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and in the barrel, we've got cherry pie, meat pie, and salted fish. Wow, these guys do have a fair amount of stuff. And a water skin. Okay. What else have we got here? Stone? Sure, why not? Okay, we've, we've, I think we've basically cleaned out most of this place, but I do wish I'd... I mean, where's his bow? He was he was ready to shoot me with a bow, and now it's gone, and I don't know where. Oh, there it is right there! It's 11%. <laughs> well, obviously, this uh, bandit has been very busy uh, doing bandity things, and uh, his bow is now uh, kind of ruined. That's okay. Uh, which makes me wonder if I missed any of these guys' weapons. I do wish it would show up in the uh, in the second sight. If, you know, where... Oh! A cudgel! Okay, that's his. And then this guy... There was another guy. Where did he go? Oh, he was over there. Okay. Oh, and a knife. So there, that was his weapon. Okay. Um, where am I going? That way. Uh, let's just keep going. Although, I should... Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a terrible bow. I should redo my arrows. There we go. 18. So we are able to recover our uh, stuff at least a little bit. Um, recover our arrows. So we're, we do lose them a little bit over time. <laughs> I, think the, I think those were the rabbits making noise at me. <laughs> oh my goodness and we're gonna go to hornica now the thing about hornica is uh in in one direction there's like a whole ton of wolves but uh that's apparently no longer an issue oh and that's also where the herald is uh we're gonna deal with the herald another time i think um, yeah, I kind of mentioned that before. What is that? Oh, it's deer. It's 500 meters that way. I did mention that before. Oh, hey, a barrel. These are decorative barrels? Oh, copper ore. Oh. Oh, they were spilled out. <gasps> oh, cool. Okay. Wow. It really does pay to go out and about, doesn't it? Game uh, rewards you for that. <laughs> hey, guys. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to quick save. And my water is in reasonable shape. Oh, there's a waterfall way back there. Cool. But I do want to get to uh, want to get to that town before the end of the day and see if there's anybody else that we can we can recruit. Uh, and then the problem with Hornica or Hornitza. Oh, oh, oh. Newer. Oh, I'm gonna run out of weight space if I like carrying capacity if I if I if I keep up <gasps> sickle <laughs> and a bag! Oh wow, actually that's super useful. So this was a farming crate, uh, farming one. Um is there's wolves. Uh, there's wolves, uh, here. This is, this is Hornica here. We're almost there, but 
Oh, I need to actually start crossing country or go this way. Uh, but basically right in here, uh, th this is like wolf territory. And the thing is that that's like between me and home. So, and then if you go over here, that's bear territory. So really I need to kind of cut around that way. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take this route and go down to Gustovia. But uh, I don't seem to be having as much problem with wolves lately. I think I want to go up here. Oh, Hornica, that way. All right. Uh, what with the uh, my my torch uh, ultimate weapon being the torch, it apparently is uh, is an amazing defense against the uh, wolves, which I should have listened to. Oh, tin, copper. See, oh, oh, tin. <gasps> Copper. Wow. This is turning out to be quite the little, uh, quite the excellent little, uh, trip. <laughs> Anyways, most likely what I'll do is I'm going to, uh, we're going to get to, to Hornica and we're going to, uh, Oh, there it is right there, I think. Uh, see if there's anybody to recruit and then or yeah, and then I'm going to I'm going to travel back uh, in the middle of the night or maybe we'll hmm, how do I want to do that? OK, I'll I'll, I'll I'll decide between now and the next episode. But basically, we're, we're almost done here. I just want to make sure that I want to see if there's anybody. Hey, Strider. Nice. I got an achievement. Uh, I want to see if uh, there's anybody else I can recruit. So we have one, two. Three. Miro! <gasps> Miro! I had a Miro in my other season. She was awesome. And Willemar I've never had before. And Rambert. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's get some stamina back. Oh, you're... No, that's Carolina. That's Carolina. Um, she's a vendor. Uh, she's the seamstress, if I remember correctly. All right. So we got Miro here. And Miro is only three in diplomacy. So... Oh, I can't really use a diplomat yet. Ones and twos. Oh, Rambert. What's wrong, buddy? Uh, you are ones and, ones and twos. Okay. Well, uh, really right now I can't, I can't uh, recruit any ladies because I don't have any uh, houses with single men in them. And uh, the two dudes that are here are ones and twos. They're not really... I need better... Sorry, I shouldn't say that in front of them. <laughs> I, yeah, you guys aren't good enough for my village. Oh, let's look at the horses. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Well, let's, uh, we've got, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. 5,000. 5,000. We've got a, a little, we've got a little filly. We've got a colt. And we've got a stallion. And we have a mare. And uh, we've got mixes of oh, black and it's kind of an Appaloosa, right? Anyways, so I think this is a good place to stop. I'm going to just go down here by the fire. Right over here. And uh, let's have a seat. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with my buddies here. Um, most likely what I'm going to do is before the next one, I'm going to, I'm going to travel through the night, um, down into the, uh, uh, down back home. And if anything exciting happens, I'll start recording or something like that. But, or, or, you know what I'm going to do? I'll do it tonight. If there's anything exciting, you might, there might be something more after this, but, um, if not, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what, you want a piece of me? What? You want a piece of me? <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> All right. I, yep, yeah, that was my uh, Hornica wolf experience. Uh, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Anyways, I think, uh, I don't think there's anything too dangerous between here and there, uh, here and home. So from that point on. Uh, if, as I say, I'm going to keep recording if anything interesting happens. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm, I think we're pretty good from now on. So, all right. Uh, once again, take care. 
and uh, see you all next time.